Hello everyone! How are you today? It's your teacher Jem Raimon once again. And this time, we will check your answers in the assessment and the additional activities part of your Module 2, particularly in the Lesson 1 entitled Finding the Volume of Cylinders, Pyramids, Cones, and Spheres. Are you excited to know your score for this part of your module? Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel, Tutorial by Sir Raymond. My name is Mr. Jem Raymond Ischen, Master Teacher 2 from Escalante Central Elementary School. Let's check first your assessment. Please get your piece of paper where you wrote your answer last time. Okay. Let's have number one. Find the volume of this solid figure. Of course, obviously, this is a rectangular pyramid and the volume of rectangular pyramid will be solved using this formula. Length times width times height divided by 3. Okay, let us substitute. Yung length natin dito class is equal to 8 meters. Yung width natin is 6 meters. At yung height natin is 12 meters. So, substitute natin yan. So, becomes 8 by 6 by 12. Okay? And divided by 3. So, multiply 8, 6, and 12. will give you... Very good. It's 576 cubic meters divided by 3. And if you divide 576 divided by 3, will give you... Very good. It's 192 cubic meters. So, this is now your answer for number 1. Number 2. That's a square pyramid. The square pyramid's formula is very good. Still length times width times height, but you can replace length times width to S times S. No? Kasi uh, yung length at saka yung width nila class is same lang naman ang dimension. So pwede natin yung i-replace ng ganyan. S times S times height. So, substitute natin becomes 6 times 6, that's your side times side, and yung height niya is 10 decimeters. So, i-multiply natin yan, will give you 360 cubic decimeter. Yung 360, divide na naman natin sa 3, will give you, yes, 120 cubic decimeter. Ito na yung final answer natin for number 2. Number 3, this is cone. And the formula of the volume of the cone could be yes could be solved using pi r squared times height yung radius natin dito is equivalent to 42 centimeters yung height natin dito is 50 centimeters i substitute natin yan class sa formula at ito na yan yung pi natin dito becomes 3.14 at yung radius natin dito becomes 42 centimeters. Of course, may squared set sa labas. And then the height is 50 centimeters. So, muna natin ito class kasi may squared sa labas. So, 42 times 42. Very good. It's 1,764 squared centimeters. Okay? So, copy yung 50, copy yung 3.14. Pwede mo na yung i-multiply lahat yan class. At ang resulta ay... Very good. 276,948 cubic centimeters. Ito na yung final answer natin for number 3. Okay, number 4, obviously, that's cone. And can you still remember the formula in finding the volume of a cone? Yes, that's one-third of the cylinder. And this is the formula in finding the volume of the cone. So we have here the radius as 9 meters and the height is 15 meters. And then, we will substitute yung pi dito class, magiging 3.14. Yung radius natin becomes 9 here, and then height will become 15 meters. So ngayon, isolve na natin ito class kasi may squared siya sa labas ng parenthesis. So that means, we have to solve 9 times 9. So this will be replaced by 81 cubic meters. Okay? So 3.14 times 81 times 15 will give you... 3,815.10 cubic meters. I-divide mo yan sa 3. At yung resulta kapag i-divide yan sa 3 will give you very good. 1,271 
1,271.7. Again, the answer is 1,271.7 cubic meters. Ito na yung final answer natin for number 4. Next, number 5, the sphere. The formula would be correct. Volume equals 4 third pi r cubed. Or pwede rin isulat na ganito. So again, substitute natin yung radius natin class is 12. Ito yon, 12 feet. Yung pi natin class is 3.14. Copy lang yung 4 at saka yung 3 dito sa denominator. Unahin na muna natin isolve itong nasa 12 cube. So, 12 times 12 times 12. Isolve mo yan will give you 1,728 cubic feet. Copy yung 3.14, copy yung 4, at copy yung 3. Okay? I-multiply mo yun lahat. Okay, very good. It will give you 21,703.68 cubic feet divided by 3. Pag i-divide mo yan lahat, class, will give you 7,234.56 cubic feet. At ito na yung final answer natin for number 5. Number 6, find the volume of sphere with a radius of 9 inches. So, very easy. Gamitin na muna natin yung formula. Pwede isulat ng ganyan. At i-replace natin sa formula yung value ng radius natin, which is 9 inches. Ito na yung class. Copy again yung 4. Yung pi natin becomes 3.14 at yung radius natin becomes 9. And then copy cube. 9 times 9 times 9. Very good. It becomes 729 cubic inches divided by 3, of course. And then, 4 times 3.14 times 729 will give you 9,156.24 cubic inches divided by 3. Divide mo ito, class. At ang makukuha mong sagot ay 3,052.08 cubic inches. Ito na yung final answer natin for number 6. Next, number 7. Find the volume of a square pyramid whose area of the base is 12 decimeter and the height is 25 decimeter. So, very easy. Let's use the formula base area times height divided by 3. Okay, yung area natin dito class ng base is 12 decimeters. So, i-replace natin ito ng 12 decimeters at yung height natin i-replace natin ng 25. Ito na yung class. Okay, i-multiply natin yung 12 times 25 will give you, very good, 300 cubic decimeter. I-divide natin sa 3. Yes, that's 100 cubic decimeter. Ito na yung final answer natin for number 7. Okay? Number 8. Find the volume of a cone with a diameter of 6 meters and a height of 7 meters. So, ito yung formula natin sa cone class. Yung diameter natin is 6, so ang i-replace natin dyan is 3. No? Ka half lang ng 6. Kasi diameter yan, radius ang kakailanganin natin. Yung height natin dito is 7. So, i-divide natin yan sa 3. So again, you let us substitute the data. So yung pi natin dito becomes 3.14. Yung r natin becomes 3 kasi half ng 6 lang ang gagamitin natin. And then squared, then height natin is 7 meters. And then divided by 3. Kunin na muna natin ito, class, yung 3 meters squared. So, 3 times 3 will give you, very good, it's 9. 9 squared meters, yung 3.147 divided by 3. Okay? So, 3.14 times 9 times 7 will give you 197.82 divided by 3. Kung i-divide mo ito, class, yung resulta will be, very good, it's 65.94 cubic Meters. Ito na yung final answer for number 8. Number 9. Find the volume of a cylinder with a diameter of 18 decimeter and a height of 21 decimeter. Ito na yung volume ng ating cylinder class. We have pi r squared times height. Yung diameter again ang given dito. So yung half nyan ang ating gagamitin na radius which is 9 decimeter. Yung height natin is 21 decimeter. Ito na yung class. Yung pi natin is 3.14. Yung radius natin dito is 9 decimeter. And then my squared nga. And then height will become 21 decimeter. So 9 times 9 will give you, very good, it's 81. Ito yung 81 class. Copy lang yung 3.14 dito at copy lang yung 21 decimeter dyan. Pagkatapos nyan, i-multiply mo lahat yan. 
and the result will give you 5,341.14 cubic decimeter. Ito na yung final answer natin sa number 9. And we have number 10. Find the volume of a cylinder with a radius of 1.5 meters and a height of 3 meters. So obviously, ito yung gagamitin natin kasi cylinder yung shape yung ating given a problem. Yung pi natin dyan will give you 3.14. Yung r natin dito is 1.5 na. At yung height natin dyan is 3 meters. So, okay, since may square dito, unahin na muna natin dito kasi may exponent siya. 1.5 times 1.5. Ang result niyan is 2.25 cubic meters. Copy yung 3, copy yung 3.14. Okay? And then, solve all together, multiply. Then, the result will give you 21.195 cubic meters. Ito na yung final answer natin for number 10 in your assessment. Okay, what's your score in your assessment? I hope you've got a very good score on your assessment. And this time, let's have the additional activities part of your module. Now, here's the situation. In a grocery store, spaghetti sauce is sold in cans in different sizes as shown below. So we have can A cost 73 pesos, can B cost 55 pesos, and can C 65 pesos. Ito yung mga spaghetti sauce class na can. Now para masagutan natin yung mga tanong sa additional activities part nyo, kunin muna natin yung mga volume ng ating mga spaghetti can. Okay? Yung mga cylinders natin, class, mga lalagyan ng spaghetti sauce. Solve na muna natin para mas madali later on to answer the questions in the succeeding slides. Now, let's have the can A. So, ito yung formula natin, class. Okay? So, yung diameter natin dito is 8 centimeters. Okay? Pero hindi 8 centimeters ang gagamitin natin kasi yung radius ang kailanganin natin dito. Yung radius makukuha lang sa half ng diameter. So, ang gagamitin natin ay 4 centimeters. Ang yung height natin, class, is 18. So, substitute natin. Yan. Yung pi natin dito, class, is, is equal to 3.14. Yung r natin dyan is 4 centimeters. Kalahati ng 8. At saka yung height natin is 18. Okay? Ang 4 times 4... Kasi may squared yan sa labas ng parenthesis. Yes, that becomes 16. Okay, copy lang yung iba. After that, wala nang parenthesis, wala nang exponent. You can multiply all together. Then the volume is 904.32 cubic centimeter. Yan yung volume ng ating can A. Let's go to can B. Of course, gagamitin the same pa din yung formula. 11 ang kanyang diameter dito, 11 centimeters. So, yung radius niya, kalahati niyan, so that's 5.5. So, 5.5 ang ilalagay natin sa formula. Ito na yung class. Yan. At yung height natin dyan is 9. Ito yon. Yung pi natin dyan is 3.14. So, 5.5 times 5.5 will be replaced by 30.25 square centimeters. So, 3.14 times 3.25 times 9 will give you 854.865 cubic centimeters. Ito na yung volume ng ating pangalawang can. Yung the can B. Next, yung volume naman ng can C. Ito yun. So, yung pi natin dyan will become 3.14. Yung radius natin dyan is 5 kasi kalahati ng 10. At yung height natin dito is... 11 centimeters. Yan yung height. So, yung 5 times 5 dito, class, will become 25. Copy yung 3.14 at saka copy yung 11. I-multiply natin yan lahat. will give you the volume of 863.5 cubic centimeters. Ito na yung mga volume ng ating mga cans dito. Ito, hindi pa ito final answer, class. Ha? Depende pa yan kung ano ang tinatanong sa items for additional activities. Okay? So again, ito yung mga volume niya class. Ang cost ng can A, yung, yung price niya is 73 pesos. Ito yung volume niya class at yung price ng can B is 55 pesos. Ito yung volume niya at saka yung can C cost 65 pesos. Now, number one. Question. 
which can holds the most sauce. Oh, so ano yung pinaka malaking volume yun yung sagot sa number one. Yes, the correct answer is can A. Can A has 904.32 cubic centimeters, no? Maraming sauce ang nasa loob niyan. Next, number two, which can hold the least sauce, yung pinaka uh, maliit na amount ng sauce ang pwedeng mailagay? Yes, obviously, it's can B. Meron siyang 854.865 lamang na volume. Now, what is the volume of can A? Obviously, copy lang yung nasa na, uh, illustration natin, di ba? Yung can B naman, ano yung volume niya? Very good. It's 854.865 cubic centimeters. How about yung can C? Very good. It's 863.5 cubic centimeters. Number 6. If you are going to buy, which can do you prefer? Why? So, ikaw na yung sasagot nito, class. Kasi, kung ikaw yung pipipiliin, ano ang mas, mas gusto mong uh, bilhin? Can A, can B, can C. Ikaw na yung sasagot niya, no? There's no correct, there's no wrong answer for number 6. Okay? Next, number 7. If you are going to buy, which can will you prefer based on the value and why? So, number 7 naman, class, kung papipiliin ka, ano ang mas i-prefer mo in terms sa, sa amount or sa cost ng iyong can? No? Basihan natin yung presyo niya. Kung ikaw yung pagpipiliin, ano yung mas i-prefer mo? Yes! The possible answer for number 7 is can be. Because can be is the cheapest among all. No? Okay? So, yan na lang yung bibilhin mo kasi mas mura nga in terms of the value. Okay, that's all for today class. Thank you so much for watching. This is not yet the end of our week 2 lesson. Meron pa itong lesson 2. No? And this is all about solving routine and non-routine problems involving volumes of solid figures. So, pwede mong i-click yan para mapanood mo ang unang video lesson para sa inyong lesson 2 for this module 2. Okay? See you next time, everyone!